Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be testing out, trying, and seeing the full wear time of this new amazing foundation. It's actually by the company called Amazing. This is a concealer foundation. This could either be incredible and full coverage and flawless. This is supposed to be a water resistant, hydrating five in one product that is revolutionary and gonna make your skin look so good and covered and beautiful. So I have the shade Light Golden and I'm gonna do half of my face with my Clarisonic brush head, half my face with a beauty blender. I'm gonna scoot you a little bit closer. This product right here, you get a little over an ounce and it is $36. I think that's actually pretty reasonable for a more high-end foundation that you would purchase at Ulta. I am of course going to take my lovely glass palette here and I'm going to, ew. Hold on. Right, okay, so this does say to shake gently before use. It has a little bit of an oil spill, kind of like, you know when you have ketchup sitting in the fridge too long and you just need to give it a good shake and squeeze out like the gross stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is so way better. Okay, so I probably don't need that much because this is a very concentrated makeup line, like their original concealer. You need a pinpoint amount and you dab it around and it is just like, boom, your under eye circles are completely disappeared. For me, the reason I don't like that one is because it creases on me pretty bad. I have an issue with that and I have to be really careful with what I put underneath my eyes, but I do have girlfriends that absolutely swear by it and it is a very highly rated concealer. This is some thick found foundation. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit oily too though, so it's like thick and kind of oily. Now this is not gonna give you a luminous finish, but it is hydrating and it has this ingredient that I have trouble saying, so let's all take a pause and bear with me. It is Cassia angustifolia. Cassia, Cassia angustifolia, angustifolia. Oh my gosh, why do I just wanna call it Augustus? Like the kid from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Cassia angustifolia, which is going to create a moisture magnet action to your face for 24 hours. Again, this does claim to be amazing concealer foundation. And this is also going to leave a little bit of a powder finish, which I'm really curious how this is going to maintain moisture and have a bit of a silky powder finish. But you know what? I'm gonna stop talking and just start slapping this product on my face. Okay, here goes nothing. So, oh, that's not as full coverage as I thought. Um, I was gonna kind of like spread this on my face and use my Clarisonic. I think I'm still gonna do that, but it's not, it's just kind of like thick and see-through. Also, this is the shade Light Golden. They only have five shades, huge drawback. This is just like leaving a bunch of brush strokes everywhere. All right, so I love this tool, die hard, love it. I've been using this every single day. And for more liquidy foundations, it just like glides it over the skin perfectly, but that did not work. Chunky monkey foundation, and it's not even covering that much. Okay, so do you guys see a major difference between this side of my face and this side? Because to me, it's just not, giving a ton of coverage. And for something to be called amazing concealer foundation, you think it's gonna conceal everything. So I'm kind of weirded out that it's not concealing more. <sighs> like I had like an out of body experience just now, you guys. I have a brand new like white fluffy stool that I sit on to do my makeup and a new rug in here. If you guys have seen the beauty tour, oh my gosh, that foundation bottle just went like. <sighs> Let's continue. Okay, so it says to use your fingers or a brush. I'm kind of gathering why because it does not want to sink into the sponge at all. It just kind of wants to sit right on top of it because it's a really weird texture but screw it, I have already loaded this sucker up, so we're gonna see if we can stamp our way to perfection. See, normally when I use the Beauty Blender and I'm using a full coverage foundation, I will just do like one stamp and it will cover everything here. So I'm just kind of, kind of let down, guys. Like now that this side is settling, it's not totally horrible, but 
it's not it's not amazing all right um and i'm using a crap ton of the product too wow i feel horrible about this i really really do like i'm sitting here in front of so many bright lights i'm gonna finish my makeup and do the whole car trick where you flip down the mirror and then you're just like oh you know because in natural light things sometimes just don't look as blended or pretty that happens to me it happens to the best of the best, not calling myself the best of the best. I'm just saying it happens to the best of the best. I'm sure JLo flips down her car mirror sometimes and is like, oh man, that's not blended. Maybe not. And let's bust out the like, oh, you can see all my crap here. <gasps> ah! I do actually have one other item from Amazing Cosmetics to try out. This is their Amazing Cosmetics Perfection Stick. Now this comes in a range of colors that you could use to actually conceal on the go or you can use to contour. I have the shade Deep to Contour. It's not really that deep. Um, so I feel like this range does cater to more fair skin tones. I'm just gonna say that. Um, but let's see what happens. This is still feeling very, very balmy. The little guy right here is a great contour stick though. Shoot, I mean that blended beautifully and it actually has a nice warm shade that is not overly warm orange. It's actually very nice for contour in my opinion um, where it's not gray cool toned but it's not orange warm. It's actually like very neutral on the skin once it blends out. So that was really nice. We're winning in that arena failing in the foundation arena, and I'm gonna finish my makeup and I will be right back. So now that the rest of my makeup is on, I'm not hating, hating this foundation the way I was when nothing else was on. It still is breaking apart on my chin pretty hardcore and grabbing to some dry patches, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm trying to give it a chance. It does feel very hydrating and that chapsticky, balmy feeling that I was explaining has gone down. So I feel like it has absorbed into my skin and that took about 10 solid minutes it, so it was a little bit frustrating to kind of wait for things to settle in to kind of finish up doing blush and bronzer because it was a little bit of a fear of mine to kind of go on top of this and have it drag product because this foundation just wants to move it does not want to settle into the skin so you have to have patience with this which I don't know if I have any you guys between the blending the grabbing of patches I don't know if I have patience and I also think I would have gone a shade down this is the second shade that they have there are five shades in total and it's not oxidizing it did go on a little bit lighter than what I expected but not bad you know I used a little bronzer and everything's looking pretty good I am gonna wear this all day so I may as well do some check-ins and show you what this looks like in natural light so come with me and join me on my day and I will We'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my God. Do you see that? That is atrocious. Hey, you know, there is one good thing about this foundation. <laughs> what? It's consistency. When you put it on, it was Ooh, bad. Here, have some. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you put it on, it was bad and it's still bad. But I am not gonna let that ruin my day. A bad foundation at all. I am just still gonna be in a good mood and I don't run into subscribers. Oh, that's Blair. glittery too. My beautiful Seven face. Beautiful face. Excuse me? What? Um, rude? Mm, rude? No. What are you talking about? That is my nephew Jack that's... in the background giving me sass, but that's okay. Um, I know all your embarrassing stories, so let's just mm, gotcha. take a moment for that. So, um, okay, my makeup, you guys, is actually really horrible. This foundation was awful. I went and got my nails done, so we went from red to this, like, peachy pretty color, and I actually had a shoulder massage from heaven. I was like, this is the best moment of my life. I love it. And she started massaging my forehead, and I was like, yep and we're done because the foundation moves so bad that i left and i'm sure i had like bald patches of skin everywhere anyway this product is pretty bad as a foundation but i'm still doing check-ins we're kind of having some family time making slime slime we are at target striking out they do not have glitter glue they're actually sold out of glue in general so i think everybody's making slime and now we're looking for a stuffed animal that has like the little beads in it in hope that we can cut it open and have it be our crackle portion because we can't find the like vase fillers either. So we 
failed. Yeah, oh, gross. gold dust. Maybe that would be cool. Look at that. What is that? Look at that. Add Look at sparkle that. to paint. It would be really cool. Ooh. Ooh that's In actually white. That's, that's actually really, really cool. Okay, and then this is the other glitter that we have so far. Oh my gosh, we could totally put in some snuggle scent boosters. I bet no one has ever thought that's outside the box. Let's make this slime as toxic as we possibly can, right? An F-bomb? I think we might need this. This is a bath fizzy. Oh, the wild things you find at Target that you don't need, but you buy anyway. <gasps> it has the beads in oh. there. This stuffed animal is oh, totally gonna there? get it. <laughs> this might be a jackpot. <gasps> oh my God, his little legs are packed. Why is that so satisfying and sparkly? Adding some gold now. Satisfying, super satisfying. I'm into it. It gets diluted pretty quickly. I think we need glitter. This was a very successful slime. This is very satisfying to pull apart to put back together. I think that's pretty cool. We have made it to the end of the day and I don't even know if I have foundation on my face left at all because this just kind of, uh, oh, it's so sticky. I did not end up falling in love with this. I think that um, I gave it a really, really good shot, but it just did not happen. Oh my gosh, I still have like slime stuff all over me. Ooh, weird. Okay, so it's been a fun day with family. I've been focusing on that and having a really good time. So my makeup not being perfect really didn't matter, but I was happy that I finally got to test out this product. I thought it sounded really great, but overall it just disappointed me with the amount of coverage, with how it sat on the skin, how sticky and chapsticky and weird textured it was and just how it grabbed and moved around. So there are too many cons for me to even say this is somewhat good. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not Tati approved. It's a huge pass. Nothing against the brand entirely. I mean, I did really like this contour and I will continue using this product here. And I'm still open to using more primers and testing out other products from Amazing Cosmetics because they do have a great reputation for making good products. I just haven't tried too many of them. So this one, I feel really bad, but it's a I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that so much. And I'm sending all my love. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.